start Stockport on Saturday. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? A really tough challenge awaits, um, but one we're really excited by. You know, we've really enjoyed the, the week that we've had. Um, you know, we obviously had a, a good win in midweek and some good training sessions in between. So, uh, you know, we're as, we're as ready as we can be at the moment and um, we're really conf- looking forward to the challenge. And of course, to go into it after your first win as Older Shot Town manager it must be great and full of confidence going into it as well. Yeah, look, the only thing that builds confidence is wins. You know, we've got that monkey off our back, so to speak, but we've got to follow that up now and we've got to show improvements, you know, day in, day out and um, game in, game out. So we we know we're going to be f- have a full examination. We're going to be fully tested by a very well put together Stockport side, very well coached. Um, so we're going to have to be at our absolute best. We know that, but that's the same, you know, every week. But we're excited by the challenges that this league brings. And um, like I said, we, we want to go and perform against the best. And um, that's certainly what we're going to look to do on Saturday. And of course, something, you know, you'll be the first to mention that was additionally positive is the fact that we maybe didn't play to our best against Dover, but we still managed to grind out the result in a tough away game like that. Yeah, definitely. Look, Dover's a really, really tough place to go on a, on a Tuesday night. They've proved that with the results that they've had at home already so uh, we showed some real big characteristics and things that need to be first on on our sheet is you know the attitude the mentality the application and we showed that in abundance on Tuesday and um, as we grow as a group hopefully you know the tactical and the the technical elements will start to grow as well but you know we showed enough quality in the night to get the job done but you know the attitude and the endeavour was, was spot on and as a manager, you know the tactical and technical doesn't matter if you get, don't get those bits right. So, um, you know, I was, I was really pleased with the character we showed. And of course, something that's additionally positive is and that is growing is the amount of players we're getting in different positions now. You know, obviously you've got Scott, you've got Mike Mikel coming in as well. So a lot of competition in places over this week. Yeah, definitely, and you know, competition's healthy. And uh, but again, it's the the characters that we're bringing in. I think everyone's got to be like-minded here. And when I look around this group, I see a real young, hungry group. Everyone wanting to get better. And we've got to keep that attitude and anyone who comes in has got to further enhance that. And I think with the, those couple of signings, um, I think they certainly bring a new energy to the group and um, different skill sets as well. Exactly that. You know, you've got Mikel who brings a bit of rawness, a bit of flair and trickery up the pitch. And you've got Scott who brings that experience that maybe we've been looking for over the last few weeks. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a sort of joke that we say that we brought in an old experienced head. Scott's 31. I'm still convinced that he's got his best football days in front of him and it's up to us to bring that out in him. But you know we've secured a, a fantastic player there um, and it was a I think an opening in the squad that we're always looking to make is that, that experienced head on the pitch as well who could help bring out the best in our young players as well so uh, no delighted to get him in the building we're going to have to build him up carefully he's looked after himself but he hasn't played since a uh, competitive game probably since um, the end of last season in the playoffs in League Two for Forest Green so we're going to have to deliver him carefully because he's going to be a really important player for us and injury wise obviously there's a few players still looking to come back for fitness obviously yeah, Jacob Jaden was suspended and you know maybe had a bit of a knock and also Kev continues to fight back from his injury as well yeah definitely so you know we'll obviously take a late a late check on everyone I think uh, unfortunately Kevin's going to be a little bit more longer term at the moment so we're just working out the best route back for him but yeah certainly one that we've we've missed um, and then we've obviously got um, Achipong as well who's nursing an injury at the moment where probably Saturday comes a bit too soon for him but but Jaden's um, been back in training um, he's cleared um, with his concussion protocol and um, we just got to take, probably take a late check on him just to you know check on a couple of the um, injuries that he's had. And of course looking at Stockport they're a team similar to Wrexham you know they've got a lot of financial backing one of the top favourites to start the season arguably but as you mentioned before you like competing against these big teams you like seeing what this team can do against these sort of competitions and players. Yeah definitely these are the examinations we want because we'll know where we are after the game and, we, you know, um, and again this group wants them challenges we want them challenges we've got to use this to bring the best out in us. We want to compete against the best. If we want to be the best, we've got to compete against them. So, yeah, this will be a good yardstick for us. Uh, one we're looking forward to, but one we're well aware we have to be at an absolute best, um, you know, to get something out of the game. But that, that's the challenge. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video and click here to subscribe.